In this lecture, we'll discuss differences between REL 8 and REL 7 from RSCSA exam point of view. So first of all, repository. REL 8 is distributed through two main repositories, BaseOS, AppStream. BaseOS repository is concerned about the packages related to the core of operating system. AppStream provides the packages related to the user space. Through AppStream repository, packages are provided as standard RPM packages and through modules. So in this way, concept of modules is introduced in AppStream repository. So in a module, different versions of the same applications are defined as different streams. You can install the different versions of the same application as per your requirement. Also module uh, consists of the different component of a logical unit. The module may contain the different versions of same application. A module may contain the different components of a logical unit. So if you are taking the exam on Relate, make sure you are defining the two repositories, BaseOS and AppStream. On REL 7, so there was only one main repository. Second difference is changes in YUM stack. So on REL 7, YUM version 3 was used. So on REL 8, so YUM version 4 is used which is based on DNF technology. So we have the advantages of YUM version 4 over YUM version 3. Increased performance. Support for the modular content. Third difference is time synchronization. On REL 7, time synchronization was provided with two implementations of NTP protocol, NTP and Crony. In REL 8, the NTP protocol is implemented only by Crony D daemon, provided by Crony package. The NTP daemon is no longer available on REL 8. So if you are using NTP on your REL 7 system, you might need to migrate to Crony when you use REL 8. So make sure you will not find NTP on REL 8, but you will find Crony for the time synchronization. The fourth difference is about networking. The default tool for the network management is Network Manager. Network scripts are deprecated in REL 8 and are no longer provided by default. So on REL 7, so both Network Manager and Network Service uh, which is based on Network Script were present or are present. But in REL 8, you will find the Network Manager but you will not find the Network Service. But in case you want to use the network service on REL 8, uh, you need to install the package with yum install network dash scripts. But it's recommended to use network manager on REL 8. Some most important difference is about the storage. So Stratis is available in REL 8. Stratis is a local storage management tool with the help of which the file systems are provided on the top of a uh, pool of storage. We will discuss about this in detail later in separate chapter. So apart from this, we will also discuss about VDO, Virtual Disk Optimizer, so which is present uh, since REL 7.5. But now it's a part of RSCSA exam. Next difference is about system authentication. Uth select replaces Uth config tool used for the system authentication. We used uh, Uth config tool for the LDAP authentication on REL 7. But you will not be able to use Uth config dash TUI text user interface in REL 8 to configure LDAP authentication. Even you will not be able to use Uth config tool at all. Uh, you can still 
join ipr domain on ipr-server.example.com by executing ipr-client-install command on system.example.com machine and you can use ldap user after joining to the ipr domain so task related to ldap authentication explained in this course are valid uh, on rel 7 rs csa so on rel 8 rs csa there is no uh, such objective mentioned uh, in the list of rs csa objectives so you don't need to configure ldap authentication as a part of rs csa objective on rel 8 but you must know how to join the ipr domain which will ensure you are authenticated against ldap server configured on ipr-server.example.com and you will be able to use ldap user so i already explained you need to install the package ipr-client and then you need to execute ipr-client-install to join ipr domain on free ips server there are some other differences between rel 8 and rel 7 and they are about security and virtualization stuff so we will not discuss those differences here because they are beyond the scope of rscsa exam if you are preparing for rscsa or rsce exam you can buy my complete practice exam video courses on www.udemy.com so courses names are mentioned here on the slide use the coupon code to get the course on discount price these courses will definitely help you to pass the exam in the first attempt